Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. In your video last week about what 10-year-old you thought would happen before the year 2020, you detailed many of those childhood predictions, but you almost completely skipped over your prediction for the year 2012. Zoom in. Enhance. Superior fish beings. Hank, your prediction that the year 2012 would feature the emergence of superior fish beings is so weird and wonderful that in the entire history of the World Wide Web, at least according to Google, no one has ever used the phrase superior superior fish beings. I mean, did you believe that fish-like aliens were going to visit us from a distant planet, or did you believe that via some extremely speedy form of evolution, a hyper-intelligent fish species would evolve and form their own civilizations, like in our beloved childhood cartoon The Snorks? Or did you believe that all along, in the rivers and lakes and oceans of Earth, there had been superior fish beings that were waiting until the year 2012 to reveal themselves? Because by that definition, Hank, and I'm gonna say this as vaguely as possible to minimize spoilers, Adult You has arguably written the two greatest superior fish being novels of the 21st century, albeit with minimal actual fish beings. And I wonder if this idea has just been floating around in your head this whole time. Like, over the years, you and I would often speculate about what would happen if the gods of Mount Olympus, or the creators of the simulation, or superior fish beings, or whatever, suddenly announced themselves and were like, okay, yeah, this has gone on long enough. I'll tell you what, I would be nervous if superior fish beings announced their arrival tomorrow, but I would also be, like, a little relieved. Like, thank God someone around here actually knows more than we do. Also, just the fact that the superior fish beings have chosen to stay quiet up to now bodes well. I mean, it means they have the ability to stay calm and shut up two talents humanity has shown a limited capacity for. What would the superior fish being say? I suppose they might begin by telling us to more carefully consider the long-term consequences of our actions, especially as it relates to large-scale changes to the rivers and lakes the superior fish beings are used to. They might also be able to tell us what the deal is with dark matter and how to better account for the value of natural resources in our economic systems, and also they might be able to explain to me why sometimes at night when I am trying to fall asleep I cannot stop thinking about how the snorks would sometimes blow bubbles out of their little head snorkels when they were nervous, but where where did the bubbles come from? They didn't... Where where Where's the air? Now, of course, I am also aware that the superior fish beings could use their amazing technology and great wisdom to crush or conquer us, or worse still, humanity in all of its hubris could try to take on the superior fish beings, leading to our inevitable humiliation and defeat. But I like to imagine the superior fish beings would just answer all of our questions and provide us with loving guidance without ordering us to do this or that. In short, I sometimes feel like humanity is an early adolescent in need of good parental figures, specifically parental figures in the form of superior fish beings. But the thing is, Hank, I think much of what the superior fish beings would tell us, we already know. Like, we already know that war is bad and that humans and other superior beings accomplish more in collaboration than they do in isolation and that every person deserves access to healthcare and education educational opportunities. We already know that as a species we are at once far too powerful and not nearly powerful enough. Powerful enough to change the climate of our planet, but not powerful enough to choose how we change the climate of our planet. And in that sense, it could be that the superior fish beings have already emerged. We just need to learn to listen to them. Oh my god, did I just turn a video about superior fish beings into something completely earnest? I can't help myself, Hank. Unironic, earnest enthusiasm about superior fish beings and other is part of my 2021 vision board. Anyway, Hank, I for one welcome our new superior fish being overlords. I will see you on Friday.